Hey guys, I want to talk really quick about three must-have settings in Counter-Strike for everyone who's new or even for people which play few years and they might not know about that. Uh, let's start with the very first one, which is R underscore clear decals. And what this command does is just clearing the mess, which you can see right now, from your wall. So if we're going to go to console, R underscore clear decals everything will disappear and that is wonderful right because who likes to have a lot of mess on your um, site which you cover in let's say short and if you will get some decent body shots on someone who would like to have this blood on a wall in there covering you vision and giving you disadvantage when they peek because you can't really see as good as with clean wall so guess what you can attach that Command to every single bind of yours, doesn't matter which one, whatever you like, to reloads, to quicks, uh, changes like weapon changes, uh, whatever you like, to even movement, but to buttons to like every single bind which you get for movement, whatever you like. And I actually use that on forward, only forward. I used to have it on weapon changing as well. So every single time. If I, when I'll go forward, everything will disappear. You see? Even, even if I'll tap it. And that is super cool because it helps you in the middle of the fight. You, if you will just see there is too much blood, you'll just go slightly forward and you can challenge this guy again. Uh, only minus of it is, and thing which I want you guys to keep in mind, that in my opinion, when you use op, let's say, and you will flake shot. But you will miss. Um, the right after your flick shot, you will probably strafe back. And if you will have this command under strafes left and right, this hole will disappear. And you'll, you're, in my opinion, your head will just not... Your, your brain will not really register how far you were off this shot. So it will not help you um, correct it and you will not know how... Uh, what you know what mistake you have done really because that will be gone so you not you will have no indicator how far you were off uh, off with this shot so i felt really strange using that on strafes left and right i removed it like immediately and i feel it feels much better for me everywhere else it is perfect so just keep that in mind. It's just my opinion. I believe that I need to see this bullet hole to kind of count what was the difference between the, you know, bullet hole and the guy which I was trying to shoot to correct next shot. That's just my opinion. And the next thing which I want to cover is actually Raider. Having this huge Raider which I'm using, it is huge advantage. As huge as it is, that huge advantage you got. Um, the difference between normal radar and this radar which I'm using is that you can see whole map and really often in MMs you play with people which don't speak English or some people which are or even you, you might not speak English and have problems well uh, you might speak English if you're listening to my video though <laughs> but um yeah, like there, there might be a lot of miscommunications there might be a lot of people which are just not caring in a world to tell you anything about that what is happening on his side and this raider will help you with this you will be able to see even from short or f no, even from the very ends of long in here you will see that someone is pushing tunnels you will uh, see his bomb carrier pushing tunnels how many people uh, is is pushing and you can start rotating without getting any sort of information from your teammates which is wonderful and uh, you will have like whole map awareness thanks to having just big radar and just playing with it. Like I I play more like I count more on radar than on my random teammates when I play some matchmakings or something with without a team. So yeah, this is really beneficial. I will just pop that on a screen and probably in descriptions below. Those those are just two simple comments which you have to put in and it, you will have this right, right away. It is wonderful. I highly recommend you guys checking this out. It's, it's great. It helps you a lot. And then third thing is really simple and common. My, some people might not know it. It's digital vibrance. You need to have it. 
For people which don't know what it is, it is a setting in your graphic card settings which changes your um, colors, like, uh, they, so they stand out, they, they are like, everything is more colorful, so uh, when, when everything is more colorful, you can see easily differences between colors, so uh, on a bigger distances, where are small differences between colors, let's say in pit, you can see that everything is like yellowish in there. But if you will see terrorist head peeking in there, you might have problems seeing the differences and then it's gonna be less visible for you. With this setting set up for like 200%, everything, every single color will stand out so much that you will, you will be able to spot things easier, way easier. And I, on the beginning, I wasn't really thinking like this is something what I should use. I didn't felt like it is helping me. But over the time, I realized that it's really increasing um, my visibility when it comes to the situations like this. Like really, like really often now, I'm able to easily just get a shot on someone who's peeking in a, in a pit just because I can see him easier. And uh, there is one minus to it, that if you will set it in your graphic card settings right away, um, you will have it, like, even when you will close the Counter-Strike, and in your, like, browser, where, while you watch movies, playing different games, so everything will be overcolored. And uh, I was really annoyed with that, so there was someone recommending me a program, which I can use, and I finally checked it out, so very great thanks to, to the guy which um, told me about that in comments somewhere under some video, I don't remember even which one. Uh, this program I believe is called called um, <coughs> Vibrance, Vibrance G, GUI, I believe, I think. I will put it in, in descriptions as well, so you can download it, I will give a link, a direct link to the, um, to the website, to the guy who made this program. And it's super simple, quick install. And uh, what it does, it, it is just like uh, seeing that you're running Counter-Strike, changing your graphic settings right away because that little program is running in the background, changing settings to overcolor everything. And uh, when you will turn off Counter-Strike, it will change settings back to, back to normal. So it is wonderful. You don't have to do this by yourself. And this, you know, playing with these settings is not as annoying as, as could be. So, yeah, so those are three settings which I highly recommend you guys to have. It helps really, really a lot. For It will help for every single person. doesn't matter which rank you are or did you even, I don't know, not even start the game yet. It will definitely help you. So, um, yeah, those are three settings. I will uh, as well attach my my uh, two configs, one which I'm using for uh, f for showing you guys things and tutorials and stuff because some people asked about that one and I will attach my config as well because a lot of people is interested in my crosshair and things like that. The simple thing with crosshair, why, is, why it is so cool? Because it's almost like static um, crosshair but when I move it gives me little indicators um, as you can see, so I know that when my weapon is accurate, when it's not. And there are some situations like, oh, you, some people might say, oh, I played this game five years and I don't need any indicators, my friend. Well, I played this game ten years and I do. In situations like this, you have no clue with static, um, with static crosser how long you have to wait. Look, you see how long you... Now, just now, it popped back to 100% accuracy. Look how long it is. Of course, we everyone knows that with Deagle, you, you need to just swap weapons and it will be fixed quicker, which is stupid, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, in some weapons, it is just giving you that... Uh, remind you of, like, I don't know, you, you just jumped and you forgot about that, like, that, you know, your weapon is still inaccurate. So, yeah, those indicators will always help. Uh, especially when you play Deagle, <laughs> definitely. So, yeah, if you want to check out my configs, everything will be in descriptions below. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Sorry that the video probably was super long uh, comparing to others, and uh, more tutorials will pop out um, 
on next day. We're, we're going to be on Friday, I believe. So see you to Friday, guys, and have a wonderful day.